I really do wish that this spaceship wasn't sponsored by Taco Bell. I get so tired of eating it all day, every day. I swear, it just runs right through me and then feels like it's crawling back up inside of my body. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome to Astro Creep, a game that's apparently a lot like a modernized version of The Visitor, which you guys have been really enjoying on the channel. I don't know if that's necessarily true or not, because I haven't played it, but judging by the main menu, I'm gonna guess that it's pretty accurate. Two possibilities exist, either we are alone in the universe or we are not. Both are equally terrifying. No, no I'm pretty sure one of those possibilities has my butthole intact, and the other one has an alien crawling up inside of it and then bursting out of me. That is not equally terrifying at all. Our objective, though, is to use the mouse to click around the area and guide the alien through the rooms. Your goal is to evolve to a stage that allows you to create a nest and infest the entire space station. Okay, I'm seeing why people were drawing comparisons to the visitor. Uh, you'll need to kill humans on board to evolve different evolutionary forms, unlock different options. Okay. So, where am I? I'm gonna guess I'm in here, right? Are we waiting inside somebody? Oh, we came in on the astronaut. That makes, is that me? I'm a green little screamy alien butthole worm. And I say that because, like, let's be honest, it's unavoidable. We know what's gonna happen. It always happens in these games. I am gonna find somebody, I'm gonna crawl up their butt. I don't know, aliens just have a fascination with buttholes. Aliens also have a fascination with vents, as far as I remember, but I can't go in the vent. Uh, can we crawl on the light to get to the- Ah, okay. Lights are hot. Turn the light off. Then go up. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. Speaking of buttholes, uh, hey there, Craig. I'm just, uh, hmm. Looks like we can leave, or maybe I can get to the vent. Oh, I can get to the vent this time. Okay, we can get the things off. I kind of want to kill you, though. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this isn't gonna work. <laughs> yeah, not even- Why? He seems so, like, confident and- Like, it's an everyday occurrence. He just whipped me off of his deck ha, and stomped me out. The lights flickering don't seem to mean anything to him or the fact that the astronaut with no limbs that he has taken in from space now has no face. So why don't we try the vent? Yeah, here we go. Okay, so we are just going to head into the vent and then find a butthole that's willing to accept our way of life. You know what? Screw you. I'll be back for you though. Don't you even worry about it. I'm such a gross little worm. Like I have no redeeming characteristics. At least the visitor had a little mouth and little antennae and I think eyes. I got nothing going for me, I'm like a turd. Oh, it's one of these games. Okay, ooh, what? Okay, so those three are linked, so where do you go? Over here, okay, and then where does the top one go? All right, I think I got it. So if we go in here, and then turn this, and then go in here, no. What about this one? There we go, okay. Got it, takes a little figuring out. But uh, yeah, those games you really just spam stuff and hope for the best, let's be honest. You see, there's my butthole. Hello, sir, I don't suppose you would mind if I just slipped down your collar and ah, uh, or not. Why am I still screaming? I'm screaming long after I'm a little puddle on the mirror. I can click on the toilet, but it does the same thing as when I click on him. I can't open any of these. Um, that doesn't do anything. Oh, I can unlock the door. I see our opening, so if I unlock the door and I open it and then whoop! Oh, you know where I'm going. Oh, it's happening! Oh god! I shouldn't have had that space taco! Oh yeah, that's the stuff. You have evolved! Thanks, game. You can now spit venomous barbs. Ooh, alright, so maybe I can kinda of hold my own a little bit now. So what if I unlock the door and then head on out? Ew. <laughs> I have little legs and a creepy voice. Okay, we're just gonna close that, right? No? Oh, there it is, okay, there we go. Just in case somebody comes by. <laughs> Occupied. Uh, the medical examiner is in here. I bet you he would like to get introduced to my venomous barbs. Excuse me, do you remember when you threw me down all confidently and stepped on me? Well, you know what? I got venomous barbs for your balls. Oh my God. <laughs> F Thompson. Uh, medical examiner, PhD, clearance level C. Oh, okay, I get his, uh, I get his little medical card. Oh, what am I doing? 
Oh, that's a really gross noise. Kinda always wondered what it sounded like to literally eat the booty like groceries, but it looks like we can actually choose how we want to evolve. Uh, we can be the acidic evolution, vomit a highly corrosive acid that can melt through all organic material and most metals, and we'd look like some kind of uh, octopus muppet, I guess. And then the other one, we have the telekinetic evolution. Manipulate the will of organic organisms, move things with your mind. And that one looks like a fish baby head on legs. Okay, I think I want to go with the Muppet, right? We might do both, because I'd like to see all endings of the game. I don't know if there's different possibilities, but those have two very different skill sets. I'm gonna guess that the restroom is probably still occupied, so we're gonna see what's up to the left. Oh, hey, Candace. I hope your first day at work is going well. Um, could you open the door for me? It seems to be locked. I forgot my lunch in there. And right now, you know, the doctor, he just has a whole buttload of stuff going on right now. So, yeah. Oh, well, no, wait. Actually, come to think of it, I remembered my key card. But I can't get in there to eat you. I, I mean my lunch. Oh, okay. You know what? Don't worry about me. I'll be back. Aliens love vents, so you know what? I am going to vomit all over that. <laughs> oh, right, I can spit acid. That was my whole thing. Blech. Okay, so what was between us? There was clearly something that I overpassed there. Oh, hey, guy. Well, this is just your unlucky day. Can I do anything to you? Oh, I melted his face. Cool. I left his butthole intact, though. <gasps> I know. What? I took it for myself! And his legs with it! Uh, D. Williams, security, clearance level B! Okay, so we're moving up into security, thanks, uh, uh D. Williams. I'll oh my god, I am just an abomination. <laughs> so, beep, there we go. I wonder if I could just play it off as if it, it's a regular day. Like, nobody, I'll just walk by, I'll tell people to mind their own business. They won't think twice, right, with legs like this. Six hours later. Oh, the infestation begins. I needed to steal a butthole before I could make my little butthole babies. <laughs> okay, was that it? I, I guess that was the objective, right? Okay, I think I wanna go back and try it again, but with the telekinetic evolutionary path. So this time, we are gonna go with the telekinetic fish baby on legs. That seems like a great idea. Oh my god, I am so much grosser. <laughs> okay, so, oh, maybe that's how I can get to Candace, right? I couldn't get through this door afterward. I can mind control you to come open the door, Candace. <laughs> Kneel before Hypno Baby. <laughs> I can't do anything else to her, though. Aw. That's no fun. What if I close it? Okay. You wouldn't give me my lunch. I mean, that's just what happens around here. Now you're fired. Can I do anything to your head? You got a very bouncy head. Oh, there she goes. Don't you go tattletailing on me to security. At least I can get my lunch now. Oh, her body is still here. I can, I can steal her body. Oh, gross. Okay, well. Butthole acquired. Uh, oh, don't don't run around like this. You're gonna give it away, right? We need to try to trick the security guy. Candace has probably already told on us, so we just need to kind of play it cool, okay? Hey, hey, no, no, dude, come on. Why why you gotta be like that? I just wanted to get to the bathroom, right? The other one is still occupied. The Taco Bell sponsorship is really just killing the mood on the space station. <laughs> security check. Purses, backpacks, diaper bags, camera bags, luggage, shipping bags. Large cameras. Dude, what's your problem with me? I don't have any of that stuff. Oh, I can mind control you. That is what you get, D. Williams, for stopping me from taking my diarrhea dump somewhere else. <laughs> oh, what am I supposed to do with this? I can scratch my ass with it. Oh, I see. I need to do that. <laughs> I thought I could, like, take it to be part of myself because I'm usually adding people to me. I guess not, so he's not going to be any advantage to evolution. Oh, I couldn't have gone in the vents. I did that out of being a smartass, but I, I don't have acid, so I couldn't have done that anyway. So now we can go in here, and then I think we're good to go, right? 
Myself and Candace's butthole are gonna go have a nice six hours in the closet, and uh, we're gonna come out smelling like daisies. Daisies and piles of butthole worms. Infestation complete. I'm a little bit worried about the health of my babies though. We've already killed everybody, and I've already taken all of the buttholes for my own, so what's gonna happen to them? Doesn't really make any sense. But that's gonna be it for this episode of Astro Creep, guys. And funny enough, I just answered my own question. I was curious if this was made by the same people that made the visitors, so I scrolled down, and it turns out that the number one comment on the game is, why kill everybody and then infest? I'm not the only person asking the hard-hitting questions, and it turns out that the reason is because this is the first part of a story. They're working on another game called Astro Creep Invasion, where all of my little butt babies will fall from the heavens, I guess? I don't really know, but if you guys enjoyed this, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and then if enough people are interested, maybe I'll check out Astro Creep Invasion in a few months. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.